In the last video in our series on vector analysis, we had learned how to use the del operator and the gradient to find a unit normal vector for a three-dimensional surface. In this video, we're going to do exactly as we did in the last video and just work two more examples. Um, the, the playlist for the series on vector analysis is at the website digital-university.org. Now for our first problem, our surface is z equals x squared plus y squared. Or we can rewrite this and have x squared plus y squared minus z equals 0. Where this is our scalar function, the function of x, y, and z. And our scalar function equals 0. 0 is a constant, so this is the equation for a particular uh, three-dimensional surface. We want to find the unit normal vector on this three-dimensional surface at the point x is 1, y is negative 2, and z is 5. So as we did in the last video, we find the gradient. Remember how we do that. We take our partial derivatives like this times unit normal vectors. So here the partial of psi with respect to x, that is 2x. So this equals 2x times i. The partial with respect to y is 2y, so we have plus 2y times j. And the partial of this with respect to z is just 1, so we have minus k. So this gradient is the normal vector for this surface. Now we want to find the normal vector, actually the unit normal vector, at the point where x equals 1, y equals 2, and z equals 5. So x equals 1, that's just going to be 2i, y equals minus 2, minus 4j. And here there is no variable z, so this is just minus k. So that is the unit normal vector on the surface at, that's the normal vector for this surface at this point. Now the unit normal vector, that would be this divided by its magnitude. And the magnitude would be the square root of 16 plus 4 is 20 plus 1 is 21. So this is the unit normal vector at this point for this particular three-dimensional surface. Now let's look at our next example. And again, this is exactly the same procedure as what we did in the, uh, the previous uh, video. There's nothing new here. Just sort of a reinforcement of what we've done before. Now here we have the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals a constant. So our scalar is x squared plus y squared plus z squared to the one-half power. And it's equal to a constant, so this is going to be a three-dimensional surface. In this case, a three-dimensional surface is a sphere. So let's see if we can find a unit normal vector for our sphere. So we have 
del i, the gradient of it is the partial of psi, with respect to x times i dot, like this. Now we take the partial of psi with respect to x, we're going to bring this exponent down. So for our first partial derivative, this equals one half times x squared plus y squared plus z squared to the minus one half power. Now notice we're going to be doing this for this differential, this differential, and this differential. In each case we're taking one half down and having this to the one half minus one, or minus one half power. So we'll factor this out, then we have to take the partial with respect to x, so that will be 2x. times the unit vector i. Now we take the partial with respect to y, take this down to the minus one half, we already have that right there, we factored it out. Now with respect to y we'll have 2y. times j plus, now we'll take the partial with respect to z, first take this down minus one, that's this to the minus one half, we factored it out, and now take, go inside and take the partial with respect to z, and we have 2z times the unit vector k. So this is the gradient of the sphere, and the gradient is the normal vector for the sphere. Now, we can factor this 2 out, take it away here, put it in here, and these cancel. So now we have this equals xi plus yj plus zk divided by this is downstairs now because of that negative exponent, and we have the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Now for a sphere, this is the equation for the radius of the sphere. So this is the radius of the sphere, and this is the magnitude of the radius of the sphere. So we said this equals the normal vector, really it's the unit normal vector. So what we're saying then is that the unit radius vector, or the radius vector itself, is perpendicular to every point on the sphere, which of course we've known all along, but we were able to prove that then by using the properties of the gradient, the fact that when this is equal to a constant, the gradient is always normal to the surface. And again, two more examples of that, just to sort of uh, expand upon what we did in the previous video when we introduced the concept of using the del operator and the gradient to find a unit normal vector for three-dimensional surfaces.